Hello psych students. Um, today I am going to show you how to use Easily to create an infographic. Okay, this is the next part of your survey project. The first part you were supposed to create the survey, then you were supposed to analyze the data in a written response, and now you are going to show what your correlation looks like through um, a visual and this visual is going to be an infographic on the program easily. So the way you do this, um, you're going to go to Blackboard. Okay, so I already got my Blackboard open. Um, I'm going to go down to Unit 2, Research and Methods, Okay, where all of the stuff from this project has been. And I'm going to click on Directions and Rubric. Okay, Directions and Rubric bring you to this screen here. Remember, this is what you're we're supposed to be referencing to um, throughout the project. So the website to use uh, to create the infographic is right here. The link is Easily. I'm going to go to Easily. Okay, now here is one interesting um, thing about Easily. The, um, the browser that it works best on is actually Firefox. So I don't have Firefox on my computer, um, but you should have Firefox on all of your um, computers at school. So Firefox is going to be the best browser for this. Now, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm not going to download Firefox, but if you do have problems um, at school or something on Google Chrome, use Firefox. Okay, Firefox is probably the best. Um, okay, so this brings you to the Easily web page. Now, I, the screencast that I am creating for you right now that we're talking about, um, this shows you how to use Easily, but this video right here can give you a little bit of insight of what Easily is all about and things like that. So you might want to watch this video. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is register. Now, I have already registered for this site because I've used it before. Um, what you will do is you are going to use your Google password and um, information from school. Okay, so mine would be, this is what my username is going to be because that's my username for school. My email, um, walkyshaw.k12.wi.us. Okay, great. Password and then first name and last name then you will click register okay like I said I have already done this so I'm going to log in but use your school information okay because I don't want anybody to lose their password or their username so use your school information now again you only need one of these per group okay so only one of you really needs to create this so I'm gonna log in he remembers me from the last time Perfect. Now I am in at Easily. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at um, some of the public layouts that have already been created for me. Now the purpose of an infographic is a visual to show some sort of correlation or some sort of um, data from a research project. So I'm going to start off using one of the forms or formats that Easily has created for me. I'm going to click this one right here. This one looks kind of neat. Okay. Okay, so this would be the infographic at its basic level. All right. This is something that they've created for um, the public to use. But you can manipulate this and you can change it all kinds of this stuff okay so here are the things that you're going to be using up here okay the the themes these are those themes like the one that I have here these little layouts um, the objects is another thing down here okay you can add in a number of different objects to these themes so my suggestion would be keep the theme pretty much how it is change around some of the things that um, that you want to change about it, use your correlations, uh, use your variables, and, and you make it more towards your um, findings from your survey. Okay, so I'm going to add in um, an object here. Now there's a bunch of different categories of objects. Okay, uh, excuse me, yeah, categories of objects. Okay, people, animals, banners, food, icons, landmarks. Okay, all these have different, different pictures. Okay, we've got a bunch of dogs and cats and stuff. Banners, food, 
icons. Now some of these they have a couple of pages as well. Okay, so I think this is kind of a cool little thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag, drag this down. Okay, so if I wanted to include this on my site, which I could, what you do is make this bigger, make it smaller. Okay, if I want to twist it around a little bit, do whatever. Okay, but if I don't want to keep this, delete. Now it's gone. Now these. You can move around. You can move this around. Okay. You can make this bigger. You can make it smaller. You can do whatever you want to it. Okay. If you want to change the name of something, because remember, some of the requirements on here, which are on that, the requirements are right on this sheet here. Okay. If you go down to the requirements, you need group members' names. Okay. Might be the first thing you want to do. Hmm. Mr. Bram Schreiber. Cool. I'm working by myself. Um, the variables you were researching. Okay, so what are the two variables that you are looking at in your research? You're going to want to put those in there. Okay, mine were uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Sure, why not? Um, no, maybe you wanted to, maybe you were looking at Google Chrome and Firefox. Okay, you can leave those two Chrome and Firefox. Make sure that you include that someplace. Okay. Um, the correlation that you found, positive, negative, or indifferent. Okay, so my guess is that you probably found some sort of a, co a, a positive correlation. Okay, um, maybe you did find a negative correlation. Or an indifferent, meaning there is no correlation between any variables at all. So whatever you do, um, or whatever you found, you need to include on here. Okay. Um, and at least two questions that you asked on your survey. Pick out like the strongest two questions or the ones that you thought got the best results and put them on your survey. Okay, you can do that creating a text box. Okay, if I want to make it a body text box, I'm going to click and drag. All right, double click, then I'll be able to type whatever I want here. You can change around the text, you can change the font, the size. You just have to play around with easily okay that's the best way to learn it is just kind of play around okay if I wanted to change the, so that's the objects if you want to add objects and text you can do that if I wanted to change the background okay I'm not too crazy about this light blue what I'll do is I'm gonna drag in this this kind of brickish color I'm gonna click drag release okay boom change the background pretty cool um I'm going to leave that one as it is. Okay. And then I'm going to put in some shapes. Okay. If I wanted to um, add in any type of shapes, which you might want to do. Okay. These are kind of neat shapes that they have here. Um, they might help with your correlation a little bit or, you know, the design of your infographic. I'm going to add that shape, click and drag. And again, change the size, change the position. Okay. You can move it around. Move it like this, whatever you got to do. All right. So um, that is pretty much how you use easily. Now, the last thing that I want to show you on here is saving. Okay. You need to make sure that you save this. Now, I'm going to call mine psych. Oops. Psych. Psychology info. Oops. See, this is maybe one of those examples how easily isn't working great on, it's not letting me delete. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna just going to click save. That's what it's going to be called. Saving psychology. Again, if I was using Foxfire, we'd have a different story. Or not Foxfire, Firefox. Probably be a little bit different. Okay, it says last saved at this time. Now if I go back to my home page. I'm going to leave this creation. Right over here is my easily infograph. All right. So if I wanted to click to view it, or if I wanted to look at the web link, I could do so here. So eventually, when your easily is done, when your infographic is done, what you're going to do is you're going to go back and click. Um, share and view 
you're going to double click this link copy okay you want the web link I'll close this out right now you're going to go back to blackboard in the same place where you submitted your um, your form for your written response this is where you're going to put it here so I'm going to put my name okay if I wanted to go hour four infographic and I would paste the URL right there if I hit submit boom that's exactly how to submit the infographic okay so um, play around with easily um, it's kind of fun if you have any questions let me know Firefox is going to be the best browser for this